Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan and welcome to my plan with me for October 14th through the 20th. Today I will be decorating my 7x9 Erin Condren Life Planner with some stickers from Planner Kate. This is a kit from the vault called August Floral, but it doesn't say August anywhere and I think it matches my October color scheme in my colorful planner. So we're going to use this one. I get excited when I have a sticker company that I don't normally use and Planner Kate is one that I haven't used in a long time. So I'm excited to, to be using this one and let's just pop the weekend banner down right away and we can take this full box and put it up here, but we have some others we can choose from. Um, I think this is as good as any, so let's just do it. We don't need this monthly calendar, or at least I don't. So I'm gonna cover that up, and then our washi strips are here, and none of them are super thick. So when I have a thick one, I usually cover up this bottom area. So I think today I'll take some of the skinny ones and put them up at the top, maybe combine some of these others at the bottom. We'll try out this first of all and then maybe layer it with the orange or more of the navy blue. It's a different scale to the pattern so I don't know if that's what we'll do but maybe. All right so we'll start here and just go straight across make this easy and sorry I did not paint my nails for you guys. In fact there's a little bit of color left in here from my darker nail polish and that is less than attractive but we have piano students coming soon and I don't have time to do my nails for you this time. Maybe I'll have gorgeous nails next time and earlier this week I filmed a review of three different planners from Bloom Planners. One of them was a wow. It really impressed me. They were all three nice planners, but one really impressed me. So I hope you'll take a look at that because you might appreciate the standout from those three planners that I consider a standout. And um, so check it out if you want to. And I've been doing Croctober. What do you think about this? I don't know. Maybe I need a skinny washi in between. Oh, this is a little bit scary. Um, so I've been doing Croctober. I'm going to do this one, just the navy blue. I've been doing Croctober, meaning crockpot meals, slow cooker meals. And the menu plan that I'm using is from the Passionate Penny Pincher. And we have had leftovers every single day. So I am learning that I need to cut these recipes in half. They really feed six. And we are but two over here in the empty nest. And so I need to start cutting those recipes in half. But since I've never done the recipes before, I've just been going for it full steam with the whole thing and planning to either freeze or share the leftovers. And we do have what they call leftover buffet on the weekend. So maybe I will end up serving, eating some of those leftovers before all is said and done. But I have enjoyed all the meals. So on Monday last week, we had chicken parmesan. And there's a little trick that you do at the end of the recipe when you take your chicken from the crock pot that makes it look like a traditional chicken parmesan. And it was really good. The sauce was delicious. My husband loved it, although he did tell me a few days later that he would have liked it without the pasta, just the chicken and maybe a side of vegetables or something. But I loved it with the pasta and I served it with angel hair pasta and we topped it with some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. It was so good. And then the tortellini soup was the next day. That one, now I think this is pretty with the skinny washi in between, so I'm, I'm happy with that. The tortellini soup was a little bit of a scary one. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because the soup has artichokes in it. Wasn't sure about that, although I do love artichokes. I just wasn't sure how that was going to go, but I liked it. 
and it had cannellini beans. Is that what they are? Cannellini? Or are they cannelloni? I think it's cannellini beans. And of course some cheese tortellini and onion, celery, chicken broth. This is gorgeous. This is a really pretty kit. It's kind of busy, but I like it. It's kind of, I'm going to put another chevron here. Maybe we'll do chevron here. Um, I'm liking the busyness of this, actually. I think I want to go with the really neutral one here. Um, and then Wednesday, day three of October, was chicken enchiladas. That is a favorite with us. We love Mexican food and Italian food a lot. All right, so I'm going to use four stickers to write piano on. Let's use the pink ones, and then I'm going to pop those on top of these. some skinny washi up at the top before I forget. Well, orange would look really nice, I'm sure. However, I'm loving navy blue with the orange. So maybe this is what I would like more. Yes, it is. And this is probably going to run into October, so I will start it here with Monday. Okay. You guys, I got a box from Moxie Life yesterday, and I'm going to share a review of everything that I have for the review crew launch of videos for the 2025 Moxie Life planners. And it does not disappoint. There were some really special things in the box. So I can't wait to share that. I really like this pattern here that's the same floral, I guess, but it's on a beige background. It's the same pattern that's in that box. I need to put that somewhere. All right, we're going to have three mom days, and we're also going to have my mom's lunch with her friends here. So the mom days are not going to be the usual ones. We will have Monday, Thursday, and one other day, probably Wednesday, and then we'll skip Friday. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. I normally will spend a few hours with moms, so these big boxes will probably be the best ones to use. I don't have three that are exactly alike, so we'll do, um, we'll use two here and one of those and just write mom day at the top. And I will add her luncheon. Okay, so let's do this one on Thursday, this one on Monday. I notice there are a lot of icons and things. I might, I don't see one for pills, but that is, Monday is when I do mom's medicine. I help her fill up her pill minder for the week. And so maybe we'll figure out which icon would be the best for that. Okay, so we have a house. We have this. I'll just use the stethoscope and we'll pretend that that means medicine. So Tuesday and Friday are going to be my home days, my filming days. So we're going to use these two boxes here and I'm just going to write filming day at the top. So I have major reviewing to do and I like to get my reviews filmed on Tuesday whenever it works out that way. And we did have a lunch scheduled for that day but one of my friends is going to be out of town so we decided to reschedule that. So I might be able to get two reviews done. We'll see. But I want to review the Moxie Life and also the Passionate Penny Pincher Home Planner for 2025. So this is review day. This is going to be plan with me. Plan with me is a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. 
look what I just found. I could have used these for mom day because they are larger stickers, but these are fine. It would be cute, I think, to use these little asterisks in the big boxes. So I'm gonna use orange asterisks in the navy box and blue ones in the orange box. Let's get a look at that real quick. I like it. All right, let's finish up the orange ones. So if you want to get this kit from Planner Kate, I looked on her website and although I got this during a vault sale, it looked to me like you could still get this kit. August floral from the vault and it was originally kit number 245. So if you put August floral in the search bar, I think you'll pull up this kit if you want to get it. I don't have a discount, I'm not an affiliate, but my friend Becky Sauls is and her affiliate link, I think, I mean, discount is Becky 20. So use Becky 20 if, or somebody else's if you know someone who's an affiliate and get 20% off. All right, here's a garbage day sticker and a little trash can. Let's put that over here at the end of Tuesday. It'll show up a little better on the orange washi, I think. All right, that's neat. What else do we have? Planner time is going to be when I fill my plan with me, so I guess I could just put it here. Neato. And car care day is on Monday. So let's put this. Wow. Everything we do is going to be in code, okay? The other thing that we're going to do is some grocery shopping and some Starbucks, but I don't really have anything for that. So We'll give mom a heart and then she has her lunch in here no room for an icon this one we'll just do whatever we want to do so let's give her a star and I'll come up with a code for what that means it'll be fun and maybe I'll work on her house a little bit she doesn't have a house but her apartment help her organize some things okay cool all right, we have church on Sunday. And I think this dark blue, it's almost black, but it is a dark blue Bible. Look good with that. This one's from my shop. That's the Jewel Tones Bibles. Okay, so I'm a planner girl and I do like to come up with cute little names for my days. <laughs> and I've decided that Monday is going to be called Move Em Out Monday, meaning Etsy orders. So I'm gonna write Move Em Out Monday on this and put it with one of these pretty full boxes. Okay, I also have a name for Saturday and that is just Sticker Saturday. And so, those are going to be like major days of working on stickers. I put it right here. Don't have piano lessons. And I will be back for mom in the early afternoon. So then sticker Saturday can be this one. And let's see what we have. How about this? All right. one right here in the middle of the day. Here's a payday sticker and here's a money sticker. It already says payday, but let's say it again. Say it again. That's somewhat slanted, but it's okay. And that's somewhat slanted, but I am not a perfectionist right now because if I am a perfectionist, I will find that my piano students are knocking at the door before I'm ready. Laundry day happens a lot on Sunday. Let's do it here. Let's do it after church. 
Well, I clean house a little bit every day and I've been putting these little small jobs of the day each day in my Facebook group and that's been kind of fun. We had under the couch day, we had stepladder day, we had, um, I'm going to scoot this over to make it last longer, like um, vacuum day, dust mop day, stuff like that. And I put that too high because look how it's going to bump into that. But I tried another time to lift it up and it did work. So let's lift this up and put it on top of that washi strip. And this is an older craft spatula that I got to go with my old Cricut machine that I no longer use, but I've linked a similar craft spatula down in the video description if you want to try to get one, because they're great for lifting up stickers. And I use it all the time. So over here, I'm going to use this clean house thing, and that is going to mean the little job of the day. We'll use teal for that clean house. And when I do those in the morning, it tends to get done. Whereas if I save it, it might not. Clean house. And then continued. I should have probably, I had enough that I could have started it to the left, but that's okay. We'll just forget about it. All right, grocery time. I'm going to pick up groceries on Sunday evening to continue with Croctober. We'll use, yes, teal again. We'll just pick up the groceries here. This is going to be a rest day, so I'm just going to block it out with the last of the full boxes. And because I love to use up as much of the kit as I can, let's use these three flags and these four, or at least some of them, to make a little flag sticker for checking off that we did our little cleaning job of the day. bugged by this okay I think I'm happier now my memory verse is going to go in the sidebar and we're going to use a planner Kate sticker underneath so this is going to say memory verse this week Put a little clapper board on both of the filming days. Like that. Okay, I have some event labels left and I'm going to use several of them just scattered about so I can write on them later. going to be a memory verse here but before we get to that let's go to the sticker scraps area and put down these stickers that I'm not going to use
so we can do the memory verse now. And this week we're on this one, Acts 17, verse 29. Therefore, since we are God's offspring, we should not think that the divine being is like gold or silver or stone, an image made by human design and skill. Okay, so this is all I'm going to put on the page. Here's a slow motion flyover for you so you can see all of the colors and patterns up close. Again, this was Planner Kate, and the name of the kit is August Floral, and it is what she calls a vault kit. At the end of my weekly Plan With Me's, I like to say a prayer, and I invite you to join me if you would like to. Our Father in heaven, help us to sense your presence right next to us through the power of your Holy Spirit. We bring our hearts to you and offer them as a sacrifice of praise. You love us with an everlasting love, and you hold us up with your everlasting arms. Make our lives everything that you want them to be, and allow us to play a part in your overarching plan. Show us what to do and help us to do it. Give us everything that we need and help us to remember that all we have is due to your mercy and love. Forgive us our sins and help us to forgive anyone who has sinned against us. Keep us on your perfect course for our lives and deliver us from temptation. All that we ask for ourselves, we also ask for our loved ones. Rescue them from danger. Bless them with goodness and a desire to know you more. Break the chains of addiction for any among us who is in bondage to sin and for any we know and love who suffers in this way. Heal the wounds of our hearts and the afflictions of our bodies. Make us blessings to those we work with and live with. Give us the spiritual maturity that enables us to be slow to anger and quick to forgive. Remind us that it is in you that we live and move and have our being. And thank you for loving us enough to die for our souls. We rejoice in the resurrection of Jesus and in his victory over all that is evil in us and in the world. In his holy name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, that's going to do it for this plan with me. I used the same pen this week that I used last week. It's my Bold Blooms gel pen from Erin Condren, but with a different ink inside. It has a Pilot Rollerball ink inside. And then the little tweezers I was using were from Laurel Denise, and I have a discount code at Laurel Denise in the video description. And I also use this little guy. This is a handy scraper, which is just a razor blade and a little plastic holder. I've got that linked in the video description. I have an Erin Condren link in the video description. If it is your first order from Erin Condren, you can actually save $10. So be sure to click on that referral link to grab the $10. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.